Hello, this everybody, and welcome Fantasy. to another episode of TriPlay. This is Alex. And this is Anthony, the city of Final Fantasy. Yep, that's today's game. So I know we've kind of held back on this video for a bit because, you know, we didn't want to get lost in the the mess that is the closed beta of this game. So we kind of decided to release it later. And no, we're not going to go to the tutorial, Anthony, because it's just a shit ton of YouTube videos, which is... <laughs> yeah. That's bad. Yeah. Yeah, just a shit ton of YouTube. How many YouTube videos, I wonder, were made of this? I don't know. But, you know, this is, you know, again, like, we're just kind of playing through this. As you see, like, I picked the Shtola, and you've probably noticed there are no villains because the game doesn't have the villains yet, at least, like, in this beta version. They better have the villains in the main game, though. Yeah, they did. They just recently announced, I think, Jekt? And actually, no, 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 it's Ultimisia at this point. So mm. it's kind of really exciting. And we're going to Narsh outskirts, and you probably are noticing something brand new. It's uh, three on three. Oh, yes, that is pretty cool. Yeah. So, and th there's some new rules that's kind of weird. So let's see. So, Titus's voice actor has improved since the original Final Fantasy 13, 10. It's, I think it's the same voice actor. <laughs> it is. No, I'm just saying he's improved. Okay. That's good. So, interestingly enough, like, do you remember how to play this game at all? Yes, I do. Okay, so it's the same system. So, there's bravery, and then there's, you know, basically, like, the regular HP and stuff. And But... 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 It's in high def, and at 60 frames per second, and not on a, like, 24 frames per second PSP. Right, that's true. That's true. So, Sorry for the interruption. And also, there's this, too. Which is which are summoning crystals? Because I don't know if you kind of saw, because I just kind of quickly went over it. But mm -hmm. I picked Shiva as a summon, and Ooh. the whole thing is like if you actually get to summon her, she can literally obliterate the other team. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah. So the whole goal, and I don't know if you see the top left corner of the screen. There's a blue and a red section, um, and then there's like three segments, right? Like. Each segment is an incapacitated enemy. So basically, like, if three, if the opposing team gets three incapacitations, they lose. So that's how it works. Well, first and foremost, let's go back to what you said about the summons. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Final Fantasy summons the nukes of JRPGs. Mm -hmm. And damn, this looks cool. Yeah. That's a cool looking summon. So... Shiva's gonna basically do that. <laughs> it because like the field becomes an obstacle course for the enemies. They they if they can survive still, they can survive. But it'll be really really hard. Do you? Um, let me ask you a question. And, and if these summons existed in our real world, I would not be happy about that. No, I wouldn't be happy either. Because they're we'd all be dead. Yeah, we'd all be dead. But. Somebody, speaking of which, somebody got incapacitated because of Shiva, so... Oh, there you go! Yeah. It's, uh, the real world physics are already working! Mm -hmm. And this is Narsh? Narshe or Narsh? I don't know, do you say it's Narsh or Narshe? I always said Narsh. Okay, so this is Narsh from Final Fantasy VI. Which is a masterpiece of a game. Mm -hmm. Let me add. Yeah. And, yeah, so this is all AI people, in case people are wondering, too. Like, I... Let's maybe we'll try doing multiplayer later, but the multiplayer takes a long time to get into. Like I got gotcha. a really long time, and I don't know. Ishtola looks weird. <laughs> like, you and I play Final Fantasy fourteen, and I'm just like, mm -hmm. there's something yeah. wrong with her face. No, th I didn't. Even, I thought it, I didn't even know it was really her. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you fought two Tituses and a. And what's his face? Uh, Zidane? Yeah. <laughs> what a team. There, Alex. I know, quite a team. So I'm going to do another practice match right now. Where's my girl Tara at? Um, I think she's. She should be over to the right. But I'm just kind of like going through like who the characters are, as you can see. Like it's, you know. It's the mainstays? A, yeah, the mainstays, the main heroes and heroines except for 11 because 11 is kind of weird because shantoto is kind of like 
a weird not villain, but kind of is in a way. The mascot. Yeah. Hmm. Where am I going to pick here? Let's see. Sure. Let's do that. I'm, I, okay. You're going to be Titus. I'm not sure how to play this character, but if you notice, there's actually two different battle sets, and that kind of alters the kind of abilities that you get. Because, like, the way that it is, it's like, you know, there's the HP attack, which in order to incapacitate somebody, you need to bring their HP down. And the way that you do that is you bring up your bravery points to, like, a reasonable level, and then you attack them with the HP shot. And whatever the value is for mm -hmm. bravery, that's how much damage they're going to they're gonna suffer. And you could one-shot care. Yeah, you're exactly right. And, like, in the old ones, you could one-shot enemies yeah. by building up those brave points. I remember that now. Yeah. But there's also new abilities called EX uh, abilities where Delete if you're not moving win. and you hit triangle, Michelle. it comes out with a specific ability and an EX Z while holding up and EX while holding down. And it's different support abilities, which I'm still trying to get used to, but I don't think I'll be able to. So the, the support abilities, are they more passive or what? Uh, some of them are... Some of them aren't entirely support abilities, but some of them are really, really helpful. For example... There is no heal in the game, or there is no regen in the game per se, but there is something called Bravery Regen. And what that is, is it applies a regenerative points effect to any um, of your allies around you. So that, again, as we said earlier, your bravery will increase, which you really want to increase that. So, like you said, we can one-shot somebody, you know? Let's one-shot someone then, Alex. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to get used to... Titus, because I'm not really used to him. Let's put it this way. That's why I'm kind of fucking up here, but let me just get through, like, this summoning why crystal. Oh, because you use Estola, huh? Yeah. I'm. Ah, I'm... Oh, you Final Fantasy XIV fanboy. <laughs> I know, I know. Hey, I, it's a good game, so I'm not going to fault you on that. Yeah, but I've been using the Jack Shot, which is kind of like their base, you know, bravery attack. Mm-hmm. You know, and as you can see, it's like 2,000, 3,000, which, that man, nice. that's super dangerous. So when it says broken, that means their bravery is absolutely, like, gone. But, so I just need to hit them with, like, an HP. So there's HP regen, which is kind of nice. I thought when it meant broken, they were depressed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. So this is the thing that I'm kind of struggling with of this game, because, like, I really don't know how to close out the characters like look at my, look at my bravery it's 7000 but i still have to kill that person destroy him and, and then if i remember from the psp versions you your character would level up right and it would take a long you know a long time to just one shot uh not in this one cuz i feel cuz the way that they structured it it's kind of like a like a real fighting game you know so it's like they removed at least from the from the beta, the leveling aspect of the characters. Now you still have a ranking system in the game. Like it, maybe maybe we should go online with this with other players. But you'll 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 see. Like once once we check it out, like you'll notice there's different letter grades for each character, and it kind of outlines your skill with that character, like how good you are as a as a, as a player. That one's mine. Man, Ooh, just... that's a very in-depth system, my friend. Very in-depth. Yeah, it's. I don't know. It's it it's kind of wonky because like you get paired with like rank B people, even though you're rank F. <laughs> so it's like sometimes they just decimate you. So it's kind of scary. But hey, you know what? There's a reason why they did beta. So maybe it's a real beta. That well, it's a it's a beta, so it's one of those things. Mm-hmm. It, well, let me ask you this. How does this stack up to other betas now that you mention it? Um, it's a real beta in in a sense that, like I said, like I feel like the matchmaking needs a lot of work. It really that leads to... Oh, man. I, that was a little bit of lag there. It was like running in place for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lag, the ultimate summon that will screw up your game. <laughs> yeah. The which invisible is, killer. Which is weird because I'm not playing against online people I'm playing against maybe maybe it's like one of the other people's abilities that I just don't know about but I'm trying to kill Ishtola 
but man, I, I can't seal the deal for some reason. Come on, finish her off, Alex. Try. I believe in you. Well, no, let's get the summoning thing. Maybe we can summon Odin again. Oh, maybe that was a bad idea. I only have like 35 seconds left. Man, that jack shot is so slow. That it seems mine. like it's kind of useless. Well, it's it's a pretty powerful attack. It's just the thing is that's kind of crazy is that if you knock somebody down, sometimes they'll actually be invulnerable. Like you know how like in in sometimes in old school NES games and stuff, when you get hit by an enemy, you're kind of flashing and all that stuff, which means you can't get hit. It's it's kind of like in this too. So it's almost like a fighting game, but not entirely a fighting game. You know? Yeah. I don't know what it is. You know, you make an interesting point by saying it's a fighting game, but it's not. Mm -hmm. It seems like ever since Smash Brothers, there's been these attempts at hybrids and different variations of the fighting game that is not traditional. Yeah. Games like this, Power Stone comes to mind. Mm -hmm. Arms, which is a more recent example, comes to mind. Yeah. You, you know, and that's, that's the interesting thing, because you look at this game. Mm-hmm. And while, you know, this is the first full Final Fantasy fighting game, remember, this was not the first fighting game that had Final Fantasy characters. That was Yergis, mm -hmm. which was more of a traditional fighting game. Made by Namco no, as well. Yeah. But this one, you know, they they attempted to keep the leveling up, and it worked for the first Dissidia. Like, back in the day, the first Dissidia worked well. And right. even the the sequel did, mm -hmm. but it, I'll be honest. I have played it recently, and it didn't age well. Mm -hmm. I don't think that the city of games have aged well, and I think that's not saying. And, and what I mean by age well, I think it's the performance mm -hmm. on the PSP, how slow it is. Yeah, not so much the gameplay itself, not the mechanics. Yeah, it's more of the system itself. You're right, I, and really, like the frame rate is kind of a bummer. Like it's really, mm -hmm. really bad i mean it's 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 just to to the point of distracting and actually, oh, it is very distracting and actually like to your point i actually tried playing dissidia in preparation for this game but it didn't prepare me at all because really this dissidia is much faster and because of the frame rate like you said and it's more unforgiving in a lot of times so uh, but not to kind of cut you off i you know you probably noticed like i picked Terra. You know, your, yeah, your girl. My girl. Yeah. One thing that I notice is also um, I can't go back. So I think we'll be stuck here for a little bit, which is really not good. <laughs> this matchmaking is taking a while. Oh, yeah. It, it, you yeah. Play I, some yakety sacks, bro. I just I just noticed there's no like back button and I'm like, oh, really? You can't go back. I kind of made a mistake then. Well, you know, oops. We can actually read a little bit of, like, her ability. So she has Meteor, you know, you can descend upon foes from afar. And then EX1 and EX2, which, mm. you know, EX1 is kind of interesting because you can lay a trap. And it's kind of like, I guess, I think it sucks people in. I think that's what it does. And then, you know, Enfeeble, which is great because there is a dash meter in the game. Like, if you notice, like, in the middle of the screen on the bottom, there's actually a dash meter, and dashes are really important in this. It's a good way to kind of get away from people, and it's a good way to kind of really... Especially for ter for characters like Terra and Ishtola, it's a good way to kind of separate yourself from mm -hmm. the rest of the pack, you know what I'm saying? That's a good point. I mean, didn't the original have dash? It did, but it was infinite. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Now, with, with Dash, do you think it was broken in the other games? I don't know, because I really never played it in a <laughs> kind of high-level setting. Like, I was just... Like, I would play the first two hours of the game, and I'd kind of get by. And I, I, I honestly, like, I don't ever... I, didn't, I never even felt that I've learned the game truly. And even... Oh, fuck, finally. Jesus Christ. <laughs> of course, there's a cloud. Yeah, and, and a squall. Oh, funny story, to not to detract from what you've been saying, mm -hmm. but I was at Best Buy earlier today, mm -hmm. and I saw the Cloud Amiibo, and I had the money, and I was so tempted to buy it just because it was Cloud. But then I'm like, I only have one Amiibo. Let's leave it at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't, when I, don't get tempted, man. It's just Cloud, though. That's why. I know. 
So these are right. actual real people now, and Squall is actually rank Bronze B, which is kind what of What the fuck crazy. does that mean? That means, like, he's really good. Like, I'm rank E, he's rank B. And then you and then in, on online you actually vote for the summon, and we all voted Shiva, of course. And of course the opponents have voted Shiva as well. Oh no! And look at this: two clouds and two terras. Well, against each other, but you know. And tie in Diesel. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Who is that? It's, it, it's Cecil. That the first one on top. It's Cecil. Oh, it doesn't look like that from where. Well, it's the Paladin version of Cecil. Oh, yes, yes, it's not Dark Knight season. Okay, I haven't played Terra, so I might suck. Man, she is slower than Ishtola. Either that or it's just kind of playing with my brain. He's the oh, asshole. What the hell happened? Somebody's attacking me from the other team, and I'm like just trying to get to, to where my teammates are. I thought your team was attacking because it looked like Cloud attacked you, but then I forgot well, you have both. Yeah, the other Cloud. Man, okay, I do not like that that vacuum ability actually. That you know why don't you like it? Well, it's it's like it places very specific AoEs on the ground and if they and that that easily can be dodged. I would imagine it's really OP. I'm trying to avoid that guy by the way. That's like 3000 uh, on on the enemy team, which thank goodness. Oh god, somebody's chasing after me. Asshole. Ooh, this is what I don't like. You see, you see these camera angles right here. There mm -hmm. are moments where I can't even see my character, which is really fucked. Yeah, I noticed that. The camera's kind of shitty on this. It is, and also it's really confusing. Like the the interface, you notice? Mm -hmm. Like it, there's a lot of stuff going on in this. The interface. UI's a little fun, a little too much. It looks like. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a little. But before we shit on this game, remember, this is a beta. I hope they fix it. Yeah, yeah. you're right. This is a beta, so let's not get... When does this game come out? March? June? Oh, uh, no, Janu uh, January. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, we still got it. Look at what, like, look at the changes they made to Overwatch within a couple of weeks from the beta that you and I played. Yeah, but remember, these are Japanese developers, so... I mean, I, I, let's hope for the best. Well, how about that? Okay. Oh, look at that. I changed... I morphed, Anthony. Into her Esper form. Yeah. There's her nude Esper form. <laughs> well, there's her actually, furry form. <laughs> yeah, there's actually one other. Um, oh, dang. I'm getting my ass kicked. But you know what? I haven't died, so that's okay. Oh, no. Well. Oh. Use that power. Use that power of an Esper, Alex. Try and. Oh, You're shit. No, I'm not going to die, assholes. Oh, now you're back. Yeah, back to the regular form. Oh, shit. I'm worried, dude. Yeah, I know. Oh, that cloud looks winning, like he's though. handling it. We're winning, though. We're winning. Because we, we're... Oh, that was nice. We have one life above uh, red team. Uh, yeah, we're focusing on that Terra right now. Yeah, beat the shit out of Terra. Oh, shit. They summoned Shiva. That's not good. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, no. You guys, it's over for you, Alex. I know. No, I'm, I, I, will, I will try to be good. I will try to maneuver through shit. Watch. I'm going to get hit. What? Oh, yeah. oh, I killed. Yeah. So let me ask you a question. Despite its flaws, like some of the camera issues and such, is this overall a good game? Is it fun? Did you have fun playing it just this moment? There is a level of... How should I put this? I guess there is a level of satisfaction oh, and also yeah. like Bye. fun Bye. to be had by saying like, yeah, you you played as these different Final Fantasy characters, you know what I mean? And that's actually the part that I'm having the most fun with is playing the characters. Now, I do hope that the final game does have tutorials that are more than just the video, because if not, I can't say that I can recommend this to somebody because... Well, you know, again, it's it's such a such a crazy game conceptually, and I don't know why I went back in there. But notice, like, I can actually go back, you know, like from from this menu for some reason. I couldn't before, but right, it's it's freaking weird. But well, let's backtrack a minute to okay. the tutorials. I have a feeling the main game will, because despite us kind of being critical of the old one, the old one had a shit ton of fucking tutorials. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, yeah. with the Mo Moogle, remember? He would yeah. just always pop up and you could do blah, 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 boom, 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 and all this. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, you know, this is probably just a beta thing. I hope so. I, re I really think it is. Mm -hmm. I think it's a beta thing. Because remember, that first one had a bunch of... Uh, had a bunch of tutorials so right so all right i'm gonna try zidane and see if i fare better again i'm not i, I should have probably played more than one character before he started recording this video i know but onion uh, knight yes onion knight indeed so it's so these are all their abilities just to kind of read through them real quick and uh yeah i it's a good thing that that multiplayer match we could actually like quit out of because that was uh that wait was crazy, right? Yeah. That was like more than like two or three minutes. It was a bit of a wait. Mm hmm Oh, come on, AI. Really? Two Zidanes? <laughs> and, and an Ishtola. And no one. Okay, right. I, I thought it was funny because for a while that Ishtola did not appear. There was lag there. Mm -hmm. We'll take both this fight and your prize. Jesus. Guys. Oh, my God. That voice acting. Gee whiz, so guys. Done. That's right. Oh, they what? never voiced Zidane. Crap forgot about that they Whoa. did in the air in the other one with which one in the city oh that's right those were voice but I, but I don't know if it was the same voice actor though mm, it might this is pretty bad okay so Gee whiz, guys so his regular bravery attack seems to just go up like arc up so I have to actually approach him from below okay oh shit what the fuck square Enix right so weird i guess they were afraid of um of like homing attacks i guess that's why they didn't do it yeah yeah it's weird it's like a dragon punch <laughs> well remember this is not technically square enix though too my friend yeah it's team ninja you're right but they've been on a little bit of a roll lately so this is true T you know with it without itagaki which is not a bad thing yeah oh yeah Oh, devil's third. <laughs> mm. Okay, yeah, I'm trying to kind of get away because, like, my uh, break was uh, pretty down. But, man, stop guarding. That's something that I, I have to kind of still learn how to do is to really, you know, figure out how to... Guard. Well, You know how to guard? Yeah. Okay, so... You notice Zidane also has the morph ability, kind of like how Terra is. Yeah, he has, that's his sort of like overdrive form. Remember, they had those in Final Fantasy IX. Yeah. They, their outfits and everything would change. Mm -hmm. Oh man, Ishtola's got 4,000 bravery, holy shit. Oh man, okay. So, it, that's Ishtola doing it, so it's not actually lag. It's basically like fluid aura, which prevents me from moving, which is not good. Oh, you thought it was lag? No, I th I, earlier I thought it was lag, but it was actually Ishtola doing it. But man, I'm having a tough time trying to hit people. It's kind of crazy. Because, like, another thing, too, is that the X button, you know, the regular attack stuff, it's it does home a little bit, but it's like a one press, and then you get multiple attacks kind of situation, you know? Like... One hit actually comes out as three or four hits. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Incapacitated. All right. Right. Kick his ass, Alex. All right. So when you're incapacitated, what actually fuck, what actually happens is that you'll be unhittable for a good amount of time, and then you'll get revived. So basically, huh. so basically, like anybody who falls in battle three times, regardless of who it is in the opposing team, you know that means they'll lose so you just have to survive so if you get so if you get incapacitated three times the game is over for your team basically and if someone else gets incapacitated three times get mm -hmm. to then they're done right pretty much yeah that is an interesting concept yeah but it, holy shit here comes the ultimate of ultimate mm -hmm. the big main guy on final fantasy summons right Bahamut. Bahamut. Fucking up shit since 1987. Mm -hmm. Remember, he was in the original Final Fantasy, folks. People was forget. he a boss? 
No, he tra he turned the fighter into like the warrior and the monk oh, into the ninja. It's the class uh, change thing. Yeah. See, like it's kind of crazy because the frame rate is so fast, but the action is not that fast. It's it's almost misleading. You know what I mean? Wow, that that flare! Holy shit! Me. I'll take care of that one. This is fast paced. I'll take care of that one. But like I said, it's really not. <laughs> May your judgment you, well, it looks fast paced. Oh my. Here's the. Him or fucking Bahama. I don't know who's more powerful. Right. So they stay yeah, that's in the field for a while, and you, and you probably notice in the the middle of the screen on the bottom, I have no dash. I barely have any dash. Why? Because you've been using the shit out of it. Yeah. This is so it just recharges, like you said earlier. Yeah. If you stop using it, yeah. Ooh, ooh, got my bravery back. Oh shit! I gotta get out. No. You you did get out. No, I didn't. I basically got like hit. I got hit out of it because of, uh, oh crap. That's not good, that's not good! Ooh. Damn, he's just blowing shit up, uh. Yeah. And that's kind of like what I mean where the summons basically create kind of like an obstacle course like in the, on the, on the board itself, you know? Okay, we got like 10 seconds left. Jesus. Share bravery. That's one of his abilities. I can share my bravery with everybody. And we win! Yay! Right on. Yeah. And as you can tell, I really suck with these guys because I only know his Stola. You're first place! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you suck, but you're first place. Looks like but come on, it's AI. Things. I mean, the AI is not going to try to be better than me or anything. I like know. That. But still. Yeah. The AI is not going to. If you put it on hard mode, it will be. I, I can't. There is no setting to put it on hard. Oh, mode, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, that's uh, a beta. I heard that the, the the main story is actually going to have like some really interesting setups as well. Like you know, in terms of storyline, because the the person who actually wrote um, Final Fantasy 15 story um, actually is the one writing the storyline for this game. That's not a bad thing as long as there's not a side anime or a side uh, movie or a side novel for it. We're yeah, good. I think that's called like the Dissidia PSP games. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I mean, really, that's that's really what it is. All right, so we'll make this... I think this will be our last battle, and we'll hopefully be able to show off some other abilities. Ifrit versus Ramu. Yeah, so maybe we'll see those two summons but come on ai really two two vons and is that black knight cecil we can take them no problem let's just do uh, yeah i do i'm trying to look well, uh to that is yeah it is wait how he wasn't even selectable I guess it's like a weird costume thing. Okay, I'm really liking Squall, actually. Holy okay. shit, yeah. So that Gunblade is rocking it out? Oh man, so he was invulnerable at that point, but not there. <laughs> so yeah, I have to kind of wait a little bit until he's, oh God. Can the can uh, Titus's water sword beat the Gunblade? Well, we'll see. Oh shit, trying to get to the summon, trying to get to the summon stone. Question, mm -hmm. is there like a trigger button you can hit for the trigger of the uh, gun blade? No. Okay. It's, it's like, a, like it's the same controls as everybody else. It is a fighting game, remember. Good so. point. I did not think of that. <laughs> that Very good me. point. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's, it's like kind of like saying like, hey. You know the bugle that you can like wear in Tekken 7? There needs to be a separate button so you can use it as a weapon. I'm like, uh, actually, you can. I thought you can only talk with it. The bugle? Yeah. No, there. You. It's a weapon. Really? Yeah. That's really weird. 
Yeah, don't get me started on weapons on Tekken. I think that's more of a podcast thing now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh. okay. Man. But okay. speaking of Final Fantasy weapons, though, mm -hmm. that squall looks pretty badass and fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm liking him. Enough of these guys. Burn them up. All right, we got Ifrit. Sorry, I'm like really getting into this. It's okay. You you, you yeah. got into the other game. The dogs game, the game too. <laughs> All right, man, we haven't killed anybody though. It's just kind of sad. I mean, oh, oh, I I just did. Okay, <laughs> literally, I just did when I said that. The AI. Yeah, man, I'm liking Squall. I didn't to expect to like Squall in any sort of fashion, but it's really <laughs> fucking cool. You don't even like the game he's maining in, right? I think that's a Final Fantasy I need to revisit, though. Yeah. I know. You don't, oh, man. The fucking junction system. Let's not talk about that. That's a source. Okay. Of Just like Tekken's weapon system is to me. <laughs> right. <laughs> Junction system. Oh, I have a lot to say about that too, but not now. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely Cecil, but like Dark Knight form. Wonder if his abilities oh, are different. Oh. Oh, uh, what the? That beard. Oh, Ramu. His beard just get, keeps getting crazier per game. Well, look at their hair, dude. Yeah. What do you expect? No kidding. Oh shit! Yeah, again, it, it, it becomes a frick, like a freaking obstacle course. It's kind of insane. Oof. Man, I yeah. I, this is a this looks like a game where level choice does matter too. Yeah. Oh god. Damn. Okay, bravery is zero. Do you think this will be at Evo next year or? Um, I don't know. That's a good question. The they, thing is, they're putting farms, arms, I mean, not farm. <laughs> farm? What? Arms, I meant. Hmm. Aren't they putting arms? Yeah, but like Evo Japan. Oh, yeah, Evo Japan. Japan. Yeah, which is January. It's the first time Evo is going to be in Japan, so. Really? Yep. You would have thought that would have been happened decades ago. Nope. Back in like 97. Do you even know the history of Evo? Jesus. Not particularly, I just know it, that... It, it's a community-run event, my friend. No ah. companies actually run it. Capcom seems to support it, though. Well, yeah, but again, it's com it's community-run. It's the, the mm. actual players themselves actually put it on. Or fans of it, at least. I mean, over time, it's become the fans and the players, but... You know, since those old players are have kind of outlived... Well... I mean, we did good. I mean, that's like, we killed them twice. And yeah, I kind of dig, I kind of dig Squall. It's, it's pretty fucking cool. You're surprised. I am. I so you're not a Squall fan. You. I'm not. So, but anyways, let's cut it out we right here. Nice Thanks very much for joining us for this episode of TriPlay. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe this video. And until next time, we'll catch you guys later. Happy gaming.